Peekaboo friends, Pika Pika Pika, Bear Bear Bear, Red Riding Hood. What? Did you ever wonder what might happen if characters go into the wrong story? Hmm. Well, we are about to find out. I'm going to take this shiny cover off because once again, I left the cover on because I know sometimes children look for books based on the cover and this one doesn't look the same. But the title is Red Locks and the Three Bears. Not Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Red Locks and the Three Bears. Someone is in the wrong story. This book was written and illustrated by Claudia Ruda. And this book was published by Chronicle Books. Hmm, they look, they look kind of confused. I'd be confused too. Red Locks and the Three Bears. Let's find out what happens. Mama was serving porridge when we heard someone knocking at the door. Knock, knock. Little Red from the book next door was asking for help. There's a big bad wolf in my book and he wants to eat me. Please help. Please? I asked Papa and Mama to let her stay. Not sure if that's how the story goes, they said, but okay. Little Red was so hungry, she ate all my porridge. Mmm. Then she broke my favorite chair while telling us about the big bad wolf. It was getting late, so I told her she could use my bed. I couldn't sleep because Mama's bed was too soft. That's when I saw, uh-oh. The wolf. We ran to another book to stay away from the wolf. It's him, the wolf from my book, Little Red said. Then we heard someone whining. So I decided to take a look. Whoa. It was the wolf who was crying. Nobody likes to have wolves in their books. I don't want to be the big bad wolf anymore. So I had an idea. I asked Wolf to come downstairs and offered him a bowl of hot porridge. Wolf tasted the porridge and found it neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. He liked it so well that he ate it all up every bit and then asked for more. After Wolf had three bowls, I measured his mouth to show Little Red it was not big and terrible, but just right. They both returned to their book. Little Red took some porridge for Grandma and Wolf wrote down Mama's secret recipe. We went back to the beginning and again we heard someone knocking at the door. Knock, knock. I think 
we've had enough visitors for now, said Mama. Let's lock the door and eat our porridge. Who's Goldilocks? We've never heard of her. And on the very back page, it says Mama's Porridge Secret Recipe. Oh, we should try that sometime. Mmm, yum, porridge. Red Locks and the Three Bears. I miss you, friends. Mwah!